Back in May, while we were still in full lockdown, I spoke to some local mums about how they were coping, juggling homeschooling and working from home. Mum Kerry Ann Fleming from Dam Muir tells us how she coped. Thank you, Kerry Ann, for taking the time to share with the Clyde Cider some of the changes that you and your family have had to make eh, during lockdown. So, Kerry, how are you and your family adapting eh, to this new way of life? Probably the first couple of weeks, it was all up in the air and very stressful, probably putting far too much pressure on ourselves. Um, but then slowly but surely, it kind of became like a routine. We both are working full time from home. The way that my work is, it's quite flexible and it's just literally me and a laptop and I can kind of come and go as I please. Whereas with my fiancé, he has more responsibility in his role. So pretty much he has to work upstairs and he comes down when he can to kind of help with the kids. So it's me downstairs with both the kids working and doing Kayla's homeschooling. So <laughs> That's the thing, you've got two small children yeah. and you've yeah. got one at school age. So what kind of things are you doing to keep them occupied? <sighs> Try my best, you know. And at first I would say the first couple of weeks I was trying all the things you saw online, you know, like the little snack boxes whenever they ask for a snack um, because they eat non-stop or we did um, like handprint impersonation that was kind of fun took us a couple of days and it's like a memory we've got it up in our kitchen wall now but see to be honest very quickly all that kind of stuff fell to the side because it's not feasible like, um, Kayla's great she's that bit older she can entertain herself the rules about how much she can be on her electronic devices have just went out the window because in my opinion now whatever makes her happy whatever makes her day a wee bit brighter then I'm going to let her do it do you know it's anything to bring her a little bit of joy in her day at the moment because let's be honest the kids have had a really hard deal here and it's probably most toughest on them we're just kind of going with the flow now even our school work I'm just kind of like do what you can and do what you want to do and let's not stress about it and I think maybe other people might have a different outlook. And I would have thought at the start of this that I would be very strict because I'm quite like that. Um, I do like a routine. My kids know their routine inside out. The mental well-being and health of the children is more important. And even teachers are putting that message out as well, do you know? Yeah, that's you. And it's about family time. So, like, on that note, what kind of things have you seen the change in like family life that's a hundred percent the best thing about this situation is like i said me and martin both work full time eating meals together something we never get to do monday to friday so now we have dinner together every day and we have lunch and breakfast together every day watch movies snacks board games that sort of thing all the things that we wouldn't have had time to do before because we would have been rushing on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing so actually just getting to spend this time with them has been like a blessing. The fact that we're safe and healthy, obviously, and we're getting to spend this time together is what we need to cling to because we wouldn't have had this time together otherwise. So when some sort of normality goes back, what will you try and keep doing as a family? Just going for walks. That's been the highlight of our days. It's jumping in muddy puddles with our wellies on. The simple things that you don't think about is the things that they love to do. So a little bit more of that, I think, going back to basics. But I think in a, a kind of strange way, I'll, I'll miss the way it is, although I won't miss the pressure. I'll miss, like, just getting to be a, a full-time mum. That's the wrong expression to use, because you are a mum all the time, but... I'm getting to be hands-on just now um, and that's probably made me realise that I'll miss that being full-time and I'll maybe make some changes to see if I can balance both a wee bit more now that I see like what the kids are getting out of it. Where is the first place you will go when lockdown is over? I actually miss my mum's house like just walking into your mum's house is just you already feel like a sense of Hey, right, okay, everything's going to be all right. I'm in mum's house, so I think things like that. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed talking to you and listening to your experience and, and how you're coping. And thanks very much for sharing with the Clyde Cider. 
Thanks very much, Kerry Ann, for your time and have a lovely day. No problem. Happy Friday. <laughs>